Hey everyone, Car Thoughts Volume 1, there's other ones, but I decided to put a title to it, so I drive around a lot, and I'm always in my own head, thinking about the industry, and kind of what we do, and everything, so this one is managers versus leaders, so do you have managers, or do you have leaders, so let's define that, so a manager, a manager, a great manager is a great task agent, right? Uh, they get things done, their time management's strong, they manage people, they manage systems, they manage functionality, um, they're task agents, right? They got a laundry list of things to do, and they get it done. Uh, well, as best they can, usually the list is pretty long, and they don't get it done, but <clears throat> leaders are visionaries, right? They're evolving your business for you. They're uh, self-motivators, they're perpetually in thought. Right, so if you have a, a bar manager, uh, the bar manager is you know doing the inventory, doing the ordering, uh, managing the systems by the bar. Uh, it's great, it's good, good job. Uh, a bar manager who's a leader is growing sales, is evolving the bar program, you know, implementing corner bar, you know, corner bar theory, uh, working with the bartenders to. You know, build a regulars program. Uh, working with reps to build and execute great promotions. Um, you know, a leader is evolving. You know, their uh, you know their accountability sector. Um, you know, managers are great, but you know, in this ever competitive market, we need leaders, right? So, how do we get? You know. Uh, how, you know what, how did we get to this space? We got to this space because over the last, you know, 10, 12, 15 years, we've evolved to a checklist business, right? We we sit at a table and we're like, oh, this happened last week. What are we going to do? Oh, well, here's a checklist we can use and it won't happen again. Great. Good. Awesome. Next week, oh, this happened. What are we going to do? Oh, we got another checklist. All right, let's do it. Implement. Bang. Uh, you know, and, and so on and so forth. So we're continually implementing these new checks and balances. Um, and don't get me wrong, some are relevant and you, know, you got to do. Um, but we're not taking any away, right? Like there's like, so now we're getting pulled in every, you know, different direction and just trying to get it done, right? Just trying to get it done, you know. Um, you know, that environment of checks and balances and checks and balances and it's it's stagnating, right? It, it's stagnating to the business. It, it keeps you going. If it's operating 100%, so if you go into your restaurant right now, well, maybe not right now, it's five to seven, but if you go in there today, you know, go grab a, say, a closing checklist. And the closing checklist is, you know, for cleaning and, you know, everything's closed. And it's filled out and it's checked off every day this week so far with, sign, you know, additional signatures. And then whatever your cleaning side duty was, you know, go check. It's been done. Wow, hats off to you. Um, you'd be hard pressed to have it done. And the follow-up, the follow-up to that uh, doesn't always get done or else it would be getting done. So... You know, and there's a bunch of them. You know, some of the some of the uh, some of the checklists are getting done non-negotiable, right? Whoa, you just went through a red light. Um, <clears throat> they're non-negotiable and they get done. You know, inventory they don't just not do inventory, right? So anyway, um, so we've created an environment of checklists that have created managers. Uh, who are just running, right? Just like, they're just running and running, trying to get everything done. Uh, and it's pulling them away from the essence of what we, you know, try to do and what we used to do, I think, better is being with the guests, being with the staff, keeping the staff engaged, motivated at the beginning, the mid and end of shift. You know, being with the guests, building relationships, building regulars, you know, focusing on training, uh, you know, training our teams to be the best, um, you know, you know, evolving 
evolving our business every day. Not, not just, you know, keeping it afloat, right? Like evolving our business. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of, and a lot of us are there. A lot of us are like that. <clears throat> you know, I've worked, I, I don't know, 30, 35 plus different units, including some multi and these are all like corporate and independent. I mean, they're all like that. Like they're all, it's all the same. So it's, it's not like I had bad luck working with just those ones. Everybody's in that same boat. We're busy, right? We're, we're really busy. Um, so now how do you like, how do you get leaders now? Right. So, you know, develop, develop your managers and the leaders, evaluate the checklist, but just get a list, get a list of all the things, all the checks that you do. You're gonna have to do a lot of them. Like there's, I mean, cost of entry ones that you have to do, you know, but look at the redundancies, right? Like you have, there's checklists being made because we just haven't, we haven't spent the time with staff, with hourly associates to develop them into forward thinkers and give them the passion to, you know, make the right decisions. Instead, we're just checking it. We have to check them, check it off that they did it instead of, you know, creating an environment of staff where they choose to do it because they believe in it, right? They believe in what we're doing. Why are you going so slow? Believe in yourself, man. Drive faster. Um, you know, and that's the environment we've created. Um, so go through your list, see what you got. If you don't have many, you're going to need a few more. Um, if you have too many, you know, get rid of them, right? Or at the very least, what's the plan to get rid of them? Like, you know, figure that out. And then now your managers, you know, have, you, you should, you're probably already having weekly meetings, right? With, you know, kind of set agendas and round tables. And, <clears throat> but also need, you also need to have the one-on-ones, right? And focus, the last part, focus on the soft skills, right, of our management team, not just, did you do X, Y, Z? I mean, yeah, did you do X, Y, Z? But, but also talk about like, how did you evolve the business? Who did you, you know, who did you counsel or coach or praise this week? Or, you know, you know, ABC, the employees with, with this, with this, with this manager, right? You know, A, superstar, B, man, C, C, later, like, you know, get their, th- get them going, get their juices going on their soft skills, right? Um, you know, that's a great start. Just, and let them fail. Like, let them fail. It's okay. I know we don't want them to. And, you know, it's a nickel and dime and cutthroat industry right now. But, like, you know, let them fail a little bit. Let them build their own plan. And, you know, okay, you're a, bar, you're a kitchen manager and your food cost is awful. So what are you going to do about it? Like, don't give them the answers. What are you going to do about it? Oh, well, I'm going to portion cheese. Good. Okay, that's a start. It's not really what I was looking for. But, like, that's a start. That's a real thing. You know, but... <clears throat> you know, let them build a plan, let them win at the plan and let them fail at the plan and revisit it. Um, you know, that's going to, that's going to create forward thinkers, right? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I should start scripting some of this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, so I would, I, I suggest, you know, self-evaluate, do a little self-checkup. Do you have, you know, great, great managers or do you have great leaders? And, you know, what kind of steps do you need to get there? Um, You know, in this market where literally every corner has some sort of food, this, that pop up, like, you know, we need to, we need to be surrounded by a team of forward thinkers and business evolvers, right? Like we need that, you know, you know, that old adage of we're only as good as our team. Well, yeah, like that's, you know, never going to change. Right. So, so anyway, I mean, if you, if you got great service, great food, great atmosphere and, you know, great value, um, and you're not, you know, that you think, and you're not really, you know, the market leader, your local market leader, then you know, you need to look at, uh, need to look at your, uh, at your leadership team, right? So if you need anything, <clears throat> if you need anything, you need any help, any guidance on it or whatever, just PM us. I mean, well, we always talk shop for free, right? We don't charge for 
We just want to see everybody survive. This business is too hard. Do on your little, on your own, right? So, anyway, here you go. Car thoughts, volume one. More to come. I'll try to subtitle this one. I'll probably post both. I'll probably post this now, and then I'll subtitle it. I don't know. Whatever. We'll talk soon. See ya.